What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to create a trading bot. But in this case, this trading bot is very cool because what we are actually going to do is that we are going to limit what, well, the amount of dollars, euros or whatever we win or the amount of dollars, euros, whatever we lost. So we are going to limit the wins and the losses. So for example, let's say that we have a bot and we want to say, hey, Whenever you reach $10 of earnings of profit, we are going to stop in that day. You are not going to do anything in that date. You are, we are going to do that. So yeah, where can you find this code? This code can be found in my community. You can check that this is the community. And here, this is actually an exercise of that community. So if we come back here, you can see that, yeah, this is the community, all that. You can come here and check this out. This last exercise is the exercise that we are going to do. And here you have the solution, which is here at the right. So this is the solution. We are going to use a base bot, which is the bot of the previous video. We are going to use that code and we are going to add this functionality. But yeah, how do you get inside this community? You can get inside this community with my course. Once you get my course, you are going to be able to be inside the community. But one thing, you can get it here. You can get inside the course. Well, you can get the course for free. But if you get it for free, you are not going to be able to access the community. Just that. But you can see the course and maybe you don't need to access to the community. That depends on you. But yeah, that's it. So let's start with the bot. How do we actually do this? It's very simple. As so always, first, open MT5. Once you have this open, we are going to go to the IDE. And here in the IDE, we are going to open a new expert advisor. So click here on new, expert advisor. We are going to put max min, well, max win loss, something like this. Next, next, finish, take all this, remove it, and we are going to start from the very beginning. So yeah, we have here this code, which is the one of that video we made. It is the bot in which after some seconds, well, before some seconds of the previous candle, of the next candle, we are going to close the operation. What we are actually going to do in this bot is that we are going to add that functionality in which we make the bot stop if we have reached a profit or if we have reached a loss. So how do we actually do this? It is something very simple. First, you have to declare two variables. So we are going to declare here two variables. The first one is going to be the day. Because check this out, we are going to check the profit every day. So every day, the profit, which is also another variable, must be reset. So we are going to reset that value, the value of the profit, once we go to another day. So this at the beginning can be zero, both of these values. And yeah, this video indeed is going to be short because it's something very short. And yeah, now you also have to define two new uh, input parameters so that the user can decide how much does he want to have the profit, how much, how big the, uh, has to be the profit or how big has to be the loss. So here we're going to put int, well not int, sorry, double max win, which is going to be, for example, at the beginning 100. And this is, let's say, yeah, max win. Let's say this is the max profit, max the maximum daily profit, maximum daily, daily profit. And then here we are going to put input double max loss. And this is going to be the maximum daily loss. That's right. Okay, we have these two parameters. Now what we have to do is that we have to define a function. So we are going to come here and we are going to create a new function, which is going to say, okay, bull profit loss reached, for example, this is the function. So this is going to return true if the profit or the loss has been reached and it is going to, it is going to return false if not. So what we are going to do here is that, okay, first of all, we have to Keep track of the time. So we have to say, first of all, let's declare a variable in which we are going to store the time. So we are going to call here time current. Remember that this is a structure 
if you press here and press F1, you can see that this is a structure. And in order to fill uh, the structure with data, you can call time current, which will return the the time of the server. If you want the time of your computer, you can put here time local. But yeah, we are going to use the one of the server. So now that we have this, we have to check if we have changed the day. So for example, if we are in a new day, so we are going to say, okay, if from this time structure, the day is different, that the day that we have here saved, it means that we are in a new day. So in that case, we update the value of the day that we have here and we put okay this is going to be equal to the time day and we reset the value of the profit so here we put this okay perfect but what if if this is okay like what if we don't we are not in this well we are in the same day so yeah we have to return if the profit is above that so for example, above the maximum loss or below the minimum loss. So, for example, to see if the profit is above the maximum loss, maximum pro, uh, profit, we are going to say, okay, if the profit is bigger or equal than max win, it is going to return true. Or if the profit is less or equal than the max loss. But here we have a problem. Let's say that we are losing, I don't know, 10 euros. This is minus 10. And this is 10. We are saying, hey, I want you to lose maximum 10 euros. So we have to multiply this by minus 1 so that this is minus 10 and this is minus 11. And in that case, we stop. Perfect. So now that we have this, we actually have to call this function here. And we are going to say, okay, if the profit loss, profit or loss is reached, then we are just going to return. And then when the day changes, this is going to reset the value of the profit and the bot is going to start working again. But here we are missing one thing and is that here we have to say, well, we have to update the value of the profit. So how do we do that? Here we can actually take this and we say, well, okay, so let's increment. Well, first of all, let's select the position select by ticket, the funk, well, the the position, okay, we select the position and now we are going to increment the profit with the value of the profit of that position. So we get position, get double, position, profit, and that's it. That's how we increase the profit of that position. Okay, we are going to save and here we are going to increase the lottage so that we can test this correctly. We can see that we don't have any mistakes. We can come here. We are going to select the bot, which I don't remember the name, max win loss. That's right. Let's go down here, max win loss. Where is it? Here. Here we have it. We are in the boom market last month. Yeah. I don't remember if this bot was for the boom market. I think so. But yeah, here we have this. Okay. So now, okay, it is actually not winning much. Like it is only winning cents. So that is going to be an issue because it is going to take a lot of time. But yeah, you can see that in this day we have earned well, yeah, 5 euros. So once we earn 10 euros, the bot should stop, should not do anything else. So for example, now it has, it has lot, uh, lost a lot. But yeah, we almost have lost uh, 10 euros. So once we lose 10 euros, this is going to stop. We have lost 9 euros. So we have to wait a little bit and now we have lost more than 10 euros and it didn't stop. Why? Okay, the bot didn't stop because I put here 100 and it should be 10 so that the test works better. So let me test. Well, let me close the test and remove one print that I put here. So yeah, we are going to compile. We are going to close this test and let me create a new one. Okay, let's click here on start. This has been open in my other screen. And now let's make this go a little bit faster. So, okay, we can see that now the bot is not doing anything. And now check, we are we lost 9 euros. And here we lost 20, so the bot should have stopped, but it didn't stop. Okay, I have to also set this here. So let's put here 10 and let's put here 10. Okay, let's click on start and let's see if now it works correctly. So, okay, here you actually have how much I'm losing. 
And guess what? Now it's working fine because I'm printing all the time how much the bot has lost. And you can see that once it has lost uh, a number above the one we've set, in this case, 10, uh, 10 and 1 cent, so the bot stops. And check this out. The bot now is not opening any other position. It is not doing anything. And once we reach the next day, it is when the bot is going to start working again. So check that out. Here we have a position. Let me... Yeah, now the bot is opening positions. You can check that here we have this one. You can check that this was open in the second minute of the 12, 12 o'clock. And yeah, you can see that now the bot is working fine. But again, we have lost more than 10 euros. You can see that now we have lost this and the bot stops and it does not do anything. It is not opening position until the, until the next day. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understood how to create that. And remember, if you are interested in learning MQL5, I recommend you going and checking my course. So yeah, guys, we see each other in the next video.